Amelie Lighty couple is left grieving with many unanswered questions tonight after the death of their infant while in daycare. They say the sitter never called 911 when the baby showed signs of being in trouble. Manolo Morales speaks with the family in a story you'll see only on KHON2. Manolo. Dash, the state and Honolulu police are investigating, but so far the babysitter is not accused of a crime. Now, the parents tell me they believe their child could have been saved if emergency responders were called. The parents tell me that three month old Emma Jo Martin was a perfectly healthy baby when she was taken to her daycare on the morning of June 19th. Around noon, her mother got a call from the sitter saying the baby was suffering from shallow breathing, so she took her to the hospital. By the time Connie Martin got there, her baby was already dead. When I held my baby's hand when I got there, it was too late. She was cold already. They tried. There was no pulse, nothing. We spoke with the babysitter by phone, and she said she did not call 911 because she was scared and didn't know what else to do. So she performed CPR for about 45 minutes to an hour, and then she called Emma's parents. They are dumbfounded about the sitter's decision. If she just called the, the ambulance right then, could they have just beeped her back to life and we wouldn't even be having this conversation? Um, we don't know because they didn't do anything for 45 minutes. That's where the 45 minutes is. You didn't make that call. You didn't give the baby she a chance called to have the a first future. Time. You didn't give me a chance to have a future with my child. The state tells us the daycare is not licensed, which under some conditions is allowed, but is now looking into the baby's death. A spokeswoman points out that licensed facilities are trained to learn proper life-saving techniques. So CPR, first aid, safe sleep if they're caring for kids under one, um, those things are regular trainings that are required. For those who choose to go to an unlicensed daycare, the state recommends to at least get referrals, talk to other parents who've taken their kids there, ask lots of questions and make sure they know about safe sleep practices, and inspect the home. Preferably set up a time where you can actually go um, into the home when there are kids there. If there's a home or center when there are kids there, try to spend at least a half hour. HPD has classified the case as an unattended death pending the medical examiner's findings. The ME has not determined the baby's cause of death. We will let you know when that happens. Marissa.